Mother here, and welcome to part three of our series as we explore how the principles of Sun Tzu's Art of War are relevant to preparedness. I have found them to be so. If you are new to the series, the links to the previous chapters are in the description. Here are six additional principles from Sun Tzu's The Art of War that can be applied to preparedness. Number one is crisis communication. Sun Tzu stresses the importance of clear and effective communication in maintaining cohesion and coordination. In preparedness, this involves establishing robust communication systems and protocols to ensure timely dissemination of information, instructions, and updates to stakeholders, including the public, during emergencies and crises. If you don't have a working radio or a network of people when emergencies come, how are you going to know what's going on or how to prepare? Maintaining the moral high ground. Sun Tzu advises maintaining ethical and moral superiority in warfare. In preparedness, this means adhering to principles of integrity, transparency, and ethical conduct in all aspects of planning and response, which can help build trust and credibility with your people and enhance cooperation and support. This is not to say there may well come a time when you have to leave your comfort zone and have to get tough to do the thing you never seriously considered. Be thoughtful. Building alliances and coalitions. Sun Tzu acknowledges the strategic value of forming alliances and coalitions to strengthen one's position and resources. In preparedness, this involves forging partnerships with other mutual assistance groups organizations, agencies, and communities to pull resources, share expertise, and coordinate efforts in preparing for and responding to emergencies and crises. What happens when the day comes when you don't have that one thing you absolutely need to get by or survive? Scalability and flexibility. Sun Tzu advises maintaining flexibility and scalability in strategy and tactics to adapt to changing circumstances and requirements. In preparedness, this means designing plans and systems that can scale up or down as needed to accommodate varying levels of threat or intensity of emergencies, ensuring readiness to respond effectively to different scenarios. Do you only have a boo-boo kit for small medical things? And do you have a stomp bag stuffed full of medical items and know how to use them? Learning from experience. Sun Tzu emphasizes the importance of learning from past experiences in applying insights gained to future actions. In preparedness, this involves conducting after-action reviews and evaluations following exercises, drills, and real-world events to identify lessons learned, best practices, and areas for improvement and incorporating these findings into revised plans and training programs. See my after-action report on Hurricane Barrel. It helps to have a gray beard around one who's done that, been there, and lived through it. Having first-hand knowledge and experience is way more valuable than notes from a training class. Maintaining secrecy and operational security. Sun Tzu highlights the value of secrecy and operational security in concealing intentions and plans from adversaries. In preparedness, this may involve implementing measures to safeguard sensitive information, protect critical infrastructure, and maintain operational security to prevent potential adversaries from exploiting vulnerabilities or disrupting response efforts. Last year I did a three-part series on the gray man theory. Learn to blend in. Don't let everyone in your sphere know you're a serious prepper. Keep your operational security tight. Got a good dog? Proximity alarms? A bug out plan? By utilizing these additional principles from Sun Tzu into your preparedness planning and response strategies, you can further enhance your resilience, effectiveness, and adaptability in managing those emergencies and crises which will come. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to part four of this limited series by hitting that subscribe button. Better yet, join the channel to watch early viewings. Stay safe in your endeavors. I've got miles to go before I sleep.